In today's stream, we're gonna be editing a self-portrait. And then we're also going to edit a reel that will show the BTS of the process. So this is one of the portraits. The first thing I always do is I duplicate my background. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my lasso tool and we're just gonna see what happens. There we go. See, it just kind of fills it up right there. Yep. Okay, so there we go. That's our before and our after. I also use Generated Fill to do skin retouching. I'm gonna merge these together for now because I'm kind of happy with that. So I'm gonna call this skin. So I just kind of highlight one area. I click Generate and I just wanna see what it will do. Okay, I don't mind that. Yeah, that's not bad. Come to my forehead, got the forehead for me. So that's before, after. I don't like this little piece of my braid right here. Create a selection right here. Bye. Bye. All right, so oh, we got yeah. some options, perfect. I, I like the first one. I'm gonna go ahead and merge this. The next thing that I wanna do is start to go into my color grading. So I love to use selective color. In Photoshop, you'll see that there's reds and yellows. Those are gonna be my first two focus colors. So we're just gonna kind of go back and forth and toggle and see what I like. All right, cool, so I did that. And I'm, now I'm gonna move to my sleeve. We're gonna start with our blues. And again, I'm just gonna go back and forth and see what I like or don't like. Oh, I like that shade of blue. Ooh. Come on. So now I'm going into my white. So I'm gonna go ahead and mess around with that. Put this all into a folder, call it selective color. Let's create one more and we're gonna call this gradient. So I'm gonna select my subject, command shift I to invert it to get the background. Click on my gradient tool and I'm just gonna draw a line. So we have this tealish blue color. So I think I'm in a good place with this portrait. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Express on my computer. I've already added in some of the final images. I also added in the before and afters. I had uploaded some video clips. These again are me just shooting in my garage. You know what's really cool? I have it on my phone. There we go. Uh, so <laughs> we have shared this and it is a collaborative yes. document. So we are collaborating in real time. Mm -hmm. If we want to look at the timeline, you can actually see the whole mm -hmm. timeline of all of those clips. Maybe let's add in like a welcome screen yes. kind of thing. Uh, so what we can do is I can just hit this plus and it's going to add a scene and I can drag that scene to the beginning. So we're going to go into the plus and I'm going to go to photos and generate. And let's do like blue gradient, light and dark like texture in there. Okay, so we have some gradients. Just tools I use in Photoshop. And what I really want to play around with is this layout. Uh, Ooh, I think that this like that could be fun. And let's maybe change the color to white here. Yes. So we're gonna hop back over to your desktop. So I clicked on the text, scroll down, you see where it says animation. And let's see the in. Okay, I like the rise. Actually, I'm gonna go to my stuff, go to my brands, and that's where I can find my images. This is the photo we edited. So that's the before, add additional scene, and then where is that final image? Uh, I believe I should click here, add transition. And that just... Ooh. Looks like we're just dragging and dropping yes. directly out of a library onto that Damn. timeline to make some new scenes. Let's see, let's go to text, before, before, the generated fill, motion blur, gradient, selective color, final. Over here on the Adobe Express mobile beta, I am just going to click on this little uh, paper plane here, and then I can click on schedule. You can write your caption and then schedule it for when you want to post it. Yeah. You can do that all directly from the app right here. Bye, Bye everybody, we'll be back.